Some time ago, we talked about the reasons why Trinity could have powers in Matrix Resurrections and in potential new movies, series, or comics. With the premiere of the fourth movie, our speculations have been confirmed with explanations of how and why this iconic red pill now has powers of the integral anomaly. For those who only remember the first movie and are not deep into the lore of this universe, this video will be a shocker. In this video, we're going to be explaining why Trinity has the powers of the One. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Last time, we talked about why Neo wasn't able to fly, and we recapped what the Integral Anomaly is. For those of you who did not see that video, here's a quick summary. The Integral Anomaly is the sum of the errors of the Matrix that is isolated and then deposited into a human, because if these errors are left free inside the Matrix, it can destroy the system. This human, who is then co-named The One, will have to return to the source and restart the Matrix, returning the code and updating and improving the simulation. Five anomalies have existed before Neo. Humans that were revered by other humans as saviors. They restarted the Matrix, the city of Zion was destroyed, and the cycle started over again. But then came Neo, the sixth anomaly. The difference between him and the other ones, according to the architect himself, is that the others were designed to love humanity. Your five predecessors were, by design based on a similar predication, a contingent affirmation that was meant to create a profound attachment to the rest of your species, facilitating the function of the One. That is, the anomaly was conditioned to love all humanity and be manipulated. Neo's predecessors fulfilled their purpose, but Neo loved only one human, Trinity. While the others experienced this in a very general way, your experience is far more specific vis-a-vis -vis love. Trinity. This is the most important detail of the entire trilogy, and most people can't seem to understand it. Neo is not the One, because the prophecy of the One was a lie. That's impossible. The prophecy tells us. It was a lie, Morpheus. The prophecy was a lie. Neo is the anomaly among anomalies, according to the analyst. But Neo is not special just because he can fly. He's special because he rejected the path of the One. Instead of loving humanity, he loved only Trinity. Now hopefully you understand what differentiates Neo from the other ones. Trinity. Trinity is the element that made the anomaly break the cycle, but it wasn't by chance. The Oracle played a dangerous game by forcing the machines to a truce with the humans. You played a very dangerous game. Change always is. This dangerous game was her modifying of the anomaly's code, causing Trinity and Neo to fall in love. How do we know this? The foretelling that the Oracle gave to Trinity was that she would fall in love with the One. The Oracle told me that I would fall in love and that that man, the man that I loved would be the One. The first thing that the Oracle tells Neo is that Trinity likes him. I can see why she likes you. Who? Not too bright, though. On top of that, the Oracle told the Ghost that Trinity would never love him, smashing any hopes or expectations he had or could have had. You asked me one question. If she would ever love you, I told you only as a friend, as her brother. There we have three instances in which a person in an influential position of power and who sees the future is strongly invested in the relationship between Neo and Trinity. But why would the Oracle be so interested in this? When Neo entered the Oracle's kitchen, she told him not to worry about the vase. I'd ask you to sit down, but you're not going to anyway. And don't worry about the vase. What vase? That vase. I'm sorry. I said don't worry about it. I'll get one of my kids to fix it. How did you know? Oh, what's really going to bake your noodle later on is, would you still have broken it if I hadn't said anything? This scene explains part of how the Oracle works. The Oracle told Neo not to worry about the vase, manipulating him into turning and accidentally breaking it. The Oracle works with cause and effect. She prophesied to Trinity Neo's love 
and told Anil about Trinity's feelings as part of her plan to bring the two of them together. Of course, she assured Ghost that Trinity would never love him so that he would not try to romance her. The Oracle must have also changed the anomaly's code so that it would not fall in love with humanity as a whole. She could not simply suggest the love between Neo and Trinity. She must have changed Neo's source code. How did she do this? The Merovingian gave us the answer. Food. Food within the Matrix can change a human's code. Start so simply. Each line of the program creating a new effect, just like poetry. First, a rush. Heat. A heart flutters. You can see it now, yes? She does not understand why. Is it the wine? No. What is it and what is the reason? And soon it does not matter. Soon the why and the reason are gone. And all that matters is the feeling itself. Now this is the nature of the universe. We struggle against it, we fight to deny it. But it is, of course, pretends it is a lie. Beneath our poised appearance, the truth is we are completely out of control. The Merovingian explains that sometimes people do things without knowing the why. Just like Neo, who was sent by the Oracle to meet the Merovingian without questioning why. The Merovingian's demonstration of using food was no coincidence. The Oracle gave Neo a cookie so that he would feel better. Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. Don't dismiss this phrase. We have explained that the rain in the Matrix symbolizes changes in the code. The rainstorm during Neo and Smith's final fight was because Smith was changing the Matrix to his preferences. When the Oracle told Neo that he would feel right as rain, his code changed. Putting the pieces together, we can deduce that the Oracle's cookie was used to change the anomaly and link it to Trinity. There is a good chance that Trinity was also modified with food. This is the reason why Trinity activated the anomaly's code with a kiss. Don't forget that the Oracle taught Sati how to make cookies with her hands. And in Matrix Resurrections, Sati modifies a machine in the real world with her hands. Sati learned how to hack from the Oracle. We will discuss this in a future video. Now then, the connection between Trinity and Neo does not justify her having powers. But understand that the integral anomaly is a code that can be copied to other living beings, human or machine. When Neo destroyed Smith, he copied part of the anomaly's code into the agent, giving Smith new abilities. Our connection. I don't fully understand how it happened. Perhaps some part of you imprinted onto me something overwritten or copied. It is at this point irrelevant. What matters is that whatever happened, happened for a reason. Neo revived Trinity in the Matrix, and again, part of the code copied into her. The anomaly's code as of Matrix 4 is now within three individuals, Neo, Smith, and Trinity. The concept of the One was created to control the anomaly and the humans. The One itself never existed. Neo is the anomaly of anomalies that created a strong connection with Trinity. And this is not something new introduced in Matrix Resurrections. This has been part of the Matrix lore since the sequels. Now there is a new explanation given to us by the analyst, and that is that he ran multiple simulations with Neo. But no matter what the analyst did, he couldn't activate Neo's source code, the anomalies code. This is because of Neo's connection with Trinity, caused by changes done to her code by the Oracle. But the analyst did not know that at first. This is important because the analyst spoke of the source code, which means that Neo's powers are not magical. They are the powers from this anomaly. Nothing worked until the analyst rebuilt Trinity, and only then was the code reactivated. Possibly after Neo died, the anomaly's code was deactivated. When Neo was revived, he regressed back to a blue pill. But when he was close, but not too close to Trinity, the anomaly activated, as theorized by the analyst. There is another important detail here, and that is that the analyst said that after Trinity was rebuilt, he ran more experimental simulations with her and Neo. 
when they get too close in said simulations, bad things happen. While the analyst is saying this, there is a flashback of Neo and Trinity being separated by Sentinels. They manage to get close to each other, and Neo's powers are activated. This location does look like the real world, but it was one of the analyst's test simulations. This means that Trinity and Neo suffered for decades of experiments within simulations. Their bodies were reconstructed and maintained to exponentiate the anomaly's code. Neo and Trinity have barely aged, even though they are in their 90s now. They are inside new pods connected to the system via a new connector on the back of their necks. Neo and Trinity are now more machine-like than humans in comparison to the other red pills. In addition to all of this, they are placed inside new pods in a new location called the Anomalium. Who created this new location and technology? Ramakandra, Sati's father. What a coincidence that one of the Oracle's allies is the same person who created the Anomalium, where Neo and Trinity were being used to power the Matrix. We could theorize that all of this is still part of the Oracle's plan, but we'll leave that for another video. Understanding how the Anomaly works, the changes that were done to Neo's source code by the Oracle and the Analyst, and that Trinity and Neo's physical bodies are different now, should help you understand the why and how Trinity can fly. Trinity on the rooftop in Matrix Resurrections, she started to see the Golden Code, the same code that Neo first saw in Matrix Reloaded, and the same code that connects the Source to the Machine Consciousness. The Anomaly's code was activated in them both in the same way, with a kiss. Trinity is not the new One. The concept of the One is not what people think. There is no One. What exists are the Anomalies. Bullshit. Bullshit. Denial is the most predictable of all human responses. But do you agree? Why do you think Trinity has powers of the One? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.